Greetings. Hope this finds you well. So you've probably seen the claim on these different corporate media outlets. Even President Biden said he saw evidence that, you know, the Palestinian resistance, that Hamas had supposedly beheaded 40 children, 40 babies. And then the day after, the White House had to retract that statement. Um, different corporate media outlets, like I said, have been running that narrative and then later have had to retract it because there actually isn't any evidence, any credible evidence to support that claim. And the only source for that evidence is a very radical, extreme Israeli settler who just earlier this year, I think it was on Twitter, deleted the tweet calling for the extermination of this whole um, Palestinian settlement, I think in the West Bank, somewhere in the occupied territories. Anyways, this is just to say, but there is a lot of evidence to show that the, is the Israeli government, the Israeli military, the security forces there of that settler colonial apartheid regime have murdered, have killed 500 children in the past week. 500 children. Are you going to hear that number on corporate media? Are you going to hear that number being brought up by Sean Hannity when he was interviewing Cornel West? No, he, he of course brought up the 400 or the 40 beheaded babies supposedly by Hamas, even though there's no credible evidence to support that. And all these other outlets have had to since retract that. But it's just an example of Propaganda, propaganda used to justify this full-scale annihilation campaign by Israel with the full support of the West, particularly of the United States, as the settler colonial apartheid regime tries to further ethnically cleanse and perpetuate more genocide against the Palestinian people. And as Malcolm X said, you know, you got to be really careful with the media and what you consume and how you consume it because they, to paraphrase, they will have you on the side, they will have you citing, having sympathy for the oppressor against the oppressed. And if you're being rational and looking at the situation, particularly from a historical context, it's very easy to see that the Palestinians are, of course, the oppressed ones and the group doing the oppressing is the settler colonial regime of of Israel. I mean, for God's sakes, I mean, Israel did not exist up until 1948 and the land that, you know, the settler colony is now called Israel is Palestine. In order to have, to make that happen, 750,000 Palestinians were ethnically cleansed from their lands in 1948 and told well maybe you could come back later and then I believe a year later some did and then were shot on sight so you know this further attack on Gaza as this Mandu Manduese Manduai's article pointed out has two two aims to you know further to get them off the land to get because there's a lot obviously a lot of resistance in in Gaza itself and to get them off the land to lessen the resistance and then to also get them off the land so then you could have more Israeli settlers go there. But of course, you're never going to hear any of the historical background or context for um, what is going on. It's always, you know, why, why, would, why would Hamas, why would these groups, you know, be tearing down that border wall? Why would they be fighting these these conditions? Why would they be sending, you know, rockets? Why would they be taking hostages? How dare they? So, so barbaric, so inhumane. They are horrible. They are the terrorists. Um, <laughs> but again, if you get your news from a corporate media perspective, again, they will have you siding with the oppressors, thinking the oppressors are actually the oppressed, when in reality, it's completely completely opposite um and yeah so it's just very very interesting um just this whole whole narrative and i also heard too there's actually no um western 
reporters on the ground in in Gaza. They're all in, um, you know, other other parts. So they're not actually seeing the devastation on the ground because why would they need to see that for their corporate outlets? They don't want to show you those those images of Palestinian families digging their little dead children out of the rubble. They don't want to show you just entire blocks, apartment buildings just leveled to the ground. They don't want to show you the lack of food, water, and electricity because of, um, you know, Israel cutting that off to to Gaza a few a few days ago. They don't want to show you, you know, the morgues with bodies just just you know as far as the eye can see, basically because. 1500 people have been killed since um, in the in the past week or that Israel has dropped 6,000 bombs on Gaza um, which is the size of Washington DC I believe it's about 25 miles long and five miles wide has dropped 6,000 bombs on Gaza in the past week which is more than the US had dropped on Afghanistan in a whole year obviously the US shouldn't have been dropping bombs on Afghanistan either it's just a comparison. Are you going to hear that? What is actually going on? Are you actually going to get a concrete, rational analysis of, of, of the situation by the corporate media? Of course not. They are very much pro-Israel, pro-Zionist state for the settler colonial project that is Israel. As Joe Biden said, I believe it was back in the 80s, that if Israel didn't exist, the U.S. would have to create one because it serves it serves their interest, right? Um, so yeah, just just be careful because the media, corporate media, mainstream media, as Malcolm X said, can have you, you know, giving sympathy to the oppressors and thinking they're the oppressed when it's um, completely untrue in in reality. But just think about that five. 500 Palestinian children dead in Gaza in the past week. So a third of the ca casualties have been children. I believe it was 42, 44 Palestinian families in Gaza. A majority of the family members have been killed since those since the carpet bombings of Israel started on Saturday or last Sunday. 44 families, majority of them dead now. Um, again, huge reason they're able to do that. Unconditional support the U.S. and the collective West gives to the settler colonial apartheid state of, of Israel. Um, so just, just some thoughts, just some perspectives. But yeah, of course, again, like I said, you're not going to hear about the 500 dead Palestinians killed by the Israeli military bombs, right? Just whole houses, whole blocks leveled by those 6,000 missiles. But you'll hear false claims about Hamas or these, um, you know, different Palestinian resistance groups beheading 40 kids, but there's no, actually no evidence for that. There's plenty of evidence of all the children murdered by the Israeli side, but you're not going to get that perspective on corporate media because it's, obvious pretty obvious why right goes against the goes against the narrative as israel being the the victims and the the oppressed right um hope this finds you well all power to the palestinian people as they continue their their struggle and their fight for for liberation